got done doing a Facebook live. I want you to pretend like you just got done doing a Facebook live. All right. And I'm going on to my page. It, this is real simple, right? But if you don't, if you don't know how to do it, then it's kind of cool to know how to do it. Cause it's, this is repurposing content 101 guys. So, all right. So we're going to go down to my live today. That's funny. We're going to go down to my live and see, I got three people in here now. Okay, cool. All right. So here's my live, right? So I'm going to right click. There's me being cute. Right click on that and I'm gonna click on here where it says show video URL, all right? I'm gonna double click on this. I'm gonna hit control C or right click on it and copy it, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up another tab, okay? I'm going to paste it into that tab. Before I hit anything, I'm gonna go over to the www. I'm going kind of fast, but you guys can, whatever. Give me some likes and love and let me know that you're engaged and you're watching this, please, because it really makes a lot, it, it makes, makes it easier for me to know that um, this is something that you care about. So I'm going to the www. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to hit the letter M for mobile. And then I'm going to go to the end of the URL, okay, right here, and I'm going to hit enter. Okay. <clears throat> so now it looks kind of crazy. It's like a huge screen, right? Okay. So now I'm going to hit play on the video. All right. Video looks ginormous, right? I'm right clicking on it. And I'm going to do save video as, all right? So June 28th, or today's the 30th, so June 30th, Facebook Live, all right? So I just saved it. I'm done. I just closed out of that tab, okay? I already shaved it, saved it, okay? So now I'm going to go over to my YouTube, all right? I wanted to make sure that I gave it a name in my, in my saved folder, right? Now I'm on YouTube. And I'm going to click upload. This is how freaking simple this is, you guys. It's ridiculous. I've got 5,000 YouTube channels. I'm going to go on this one. This is the one that I have the most traction with. Uh, all right, hold on a second. I'm actually going to unshare my screen for a minute because I want to make sure that... Um, wait, hold on a second. Stop share. Stop share for just a second. <laughs> it's none of your business what my password is. Just saying. I actually don't even remember what it is. Um, We'll hope that this is right. Bear with me just a second. We're almost almost walking you through this. All right. Oh. Oh, this is really gonna make me mad if this doesn't work. Okay, um, I forgot my password apparently. Okay, that sucks. I'm gonna try a different one. I might have to upload it to a different, <laughs> oh, hey, that's interesting. Oh, sign in, I gotta sign in. Let's see if you remember this one. Oh, there we go, my password saved. Sometimes I'm smarter than the average bear. Okay, so we're gonna go back. <laughs> sorry guys, sorry about that. All right, so here we go. All right, so now I'm gonna share my screen again. Boom, okay, we're gonna go back into YouTube, okay? All I did, literally, I right clicked on the actual Facebook Live, right, you saw me do that. I then opened it into another tab, took out the www, put the letter M for mobile, okay? And then I went, I clicked to, to play that video I right clicked on it and I saved it to my, I saved it to my computer. So now I'm just going to go boom to upload it. I particularly always like to upload my Facebook lives back in to unlisted. And here's why, because when I first pull it in, it's not edited yet. So I want to make sure it's going to be an edited video. So I always click unlisted. The difference here, just so you guys know, you've got public, you've got private, scheduled, and unlisted. I always either do public where that everybody can see it right away. Um, I'll do unlisted, which means people can only see it if you give them the link to it. And that's, you know, some people argue that and go, oh, you know, if people want to see it, they're going to see it. Okay, fine, but it's unlisted. And then there's private. That means that nobody can see it other than you. All right. So I do unlisted, click files to upload, and then I'm going to go to my June 30th Facebook Live, all right? And this is kind of cool. So I'm just going to show you this real quick, 
how this works. So it takes a while for it to upload, depending especially on how long it is. The longer the video, it can take longer, all right? My password is password, no it's not. Um, so it's take, you know, it takes a little bit to upload and it lets you know little, the little status bar here. This is for people, this is a little bit more of like a 101 kind of a video just to show you how to upload to YouTube, okay? So now it's processing, you wanna wait till that's done. So, um, and I'm gonna kind of finish showing you this in just a few minutes, in well, just a minute or two here. But um, this is literally like all that it boils down to. It's actually kind of kind of simple stuff, all right? Uh, wait for this to process, it takes a second, plus it's going slower because I'm on Zoom. Give me some likes and love, this is good for you. If you guys didn't know how to do this, it, it helps me know that you know how to do this stuff. So. Um, likes and love really help me to know that um, I'm providing you with some value, some content. I really appreciate it very much. Do you have any questions so far, by the way? I'm at 96%, 95%. If you have any questions, throw some questions in the comments for me. Let me know. Um, if I can answer them, I certainly will. I was wondering about the shaving video myself. Matthew David Weston, that's funny. <laughs> you guys are freaking funny. Are you going to teach us how to shave a video next? I might, I might, Brandon. I might do a little one-on-one -on -one for you guys, honestly. I might do a little one-on-one -on -one going, you know, I'm going to use this now to download all the great videos I come across. So here's the thing, you guys, the reason why I wanted to share this is because if you are someone who is a any kind of business owner, whether it's 100% your business or it's just a side hustle, if, you know, direct sales, absolutely anything that you do, if you are doing any kind of a Facebook Live to even if you're just like, you know, at a concert, you want to promote a band, it doesn't matter. Like any Facebook live that you do, there's absolutely no reason whatsoever why you shouldn't repurpose that. You could take Facebook live. Say you do a Facebook live in a group. You can, if you are doing the video, you can literally repurpose your Facebook live into your own YouTube video. It doesn't matter where you do the Facebook live. If you're on it, then you can repurpose it. So this is a really good way to repurpose content. Again, if you're a business owner, you have any kind of a side hustle, um, then you can take that video and you can upload it into YouTube. And now you've got all those videos available. You can leave them unlisted or private or like, a, you know, unlisted would be the better bet because then you can share them as a link in like a follow-up email automation series, right? So that could be a value that you do. Say you sell makeup for a living, then you can do a makeup tutorial um, video series with every mascara that you sell that's on sale, okay? So I'm just trying to give you a little bit of, you know, explanation on how you can really scale that and repurpose it and use it to your advantage. Don't be scared of video. Don't be scared of video. Video is the way to freaking leverage your business. You have to do video. So freaking do it. Get over your own self. And I want this to piss you guys off. I said this to um, one of the guys that's in my husband's uh, networking group, BNI. He's a life insurance guy. I want this to piss you off. There are 12 year old girls that are going on YouTube every day and they are making money by curling their hair with flat irons. They make $500 a week doing that. Sometimes $500 per video freaking get over it. Like go live, do video, share your screen. If you're an introvert, just like I'm doing right here. Don't be scared of this stuff. If you don't know how to do it, reach out to me. I'll freaking do it for you. You can pay me. It's awesome. So I'm going to, you're going to want your title of your video to be something that's going to um, captivate your audience and attract people via YouTube. Nine times out of 10 people will type in the words, how to, right? That's, that's a way to rank. Okay. So how to um, repurpose Facebook live videos. There's one. I, I did one and said how to repurpose Facebook live videos and set up IG bio links, right? So I'm saying how to repurpose Facebook live videos. And this video, I discuss how I helped a client get over 800 views oh can't put brackets more than 800 views on a on an interview video interview video via facebook live right and then 
your tags. So your tags need to be something you do a little bit of research for. Okay. You need to know what types of things you can Google this. You, you can do like a keyword search, but your, your tags need to be relevant to what you're doing. So for me, I'm going to say Facebook live. You have to do the research on this. You're not just going to know you're, you can't just guess. <laughs> I've done re research on this myself, content creation, repurposing content. Um, coming out of your comfort zone. Cause that's what this is about, right? Coming out of your comfort zone, um, how to use YouTube, YouTube oop, with Facebook live. Okay. So it can be, it can be phrases. Okay. Your, your tags can be phrases. It's how people are going to look stuff up on YouTube. So typically a YouTube user when they go on YouTube, it's because they want to know how to do something. So literally, that's how they look up their YouTube thing. It's how to this, right? How to do this, how to do that, um, how to get more clients, right? So I might even throw that on there, how to get more clients, because you get more clients doing a Facebook Live, right? How to get more clients, okay? Um, and then what I like to do, I have a custom thumbnail. So you can do a custom thumbnail because it's going to put it, on whatever, like, I think this is actually looks kind of cute, but this one's probably a little bit better, but I actually have a photograph of me that I really like. That's kind of like an inviting, like a uh, picture. So I I'll typically use that. So you can do custom thumbnail and I think it's going to be in my downloads. Uh, maybe not. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to mess with this right now. It's going to take me forever. Um, so anyway, I'll use this one for right now. And I also, so, and then that's it. So then I'll, I'll hit done. Okay. But it's still unlisted, right? So what I do after this, just so you guys know how to do this, what I do is I'll go to, I can save this link and I can, you know, take that, put it someplace, have fun with it, whatever. Or I can go over to video manager. You guys paying attention to this? <laughs> um, so then you go to video manager. Okay. And then you go over here to create. And I'm not going to walk you through this whole process because this is a long time thing. And I took me a long time to learn how to do this stuff. You go to video editor and you can edit your video using YouTube because YouTube's owned by Google. So you can literally just take your video and throw it in here and you can edit your own video. You can cut it, you can scrape it. And that's what I do. Um, I do it all the time. It's what I do. It's my service that I provide people. So, um, but that's how you take your Facebook live and you upload it into YouTube. Um, if this was something that was helpful to you, I'm going to hit stop share. If this is something that was helpful to you, um, please give me some likes and some love. Please share it out. There's a lot of people out there that don't know how to do this stuff. So um, it would mean a lot to me. And for those of you who joined, I will try to answer your questions as soon as possible. I'm going to go in here right now. I got my phone, hold my phone. So um, I'm going to go in there and um, try to answer you if you have any questions. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to pop them on, the, on, the, on this video. And I'll go in and I will try to answer you as quickly as I can. So this is just to kind of throw this out there. This is what I'm offering right now. I'm doing, um, I'm doing basically a package deal. So for the month of, Ju the month of July 4th, I'm, I'm ready to help two businesses. And I'm, I think I have someone who's already, already interested. So it might just be one business, but I'm doing a um, one month strategy package. So what I'll do is um, I'll do uh, four one hour strategy calls via Zoom. So I share my screen with you like this instead of Facebook Live, it's a Zoom call. Um, and I can take a look at your website, take a look at what you got going on, look at your business model. We do a strategy call. We do a whole uh, business plan thing. And I'll coach you with Facebook ads, YouTube content ideas, video editing and creation and SEO assistance. Um, and then I'll also throw in a lead acquisition funnel for, for you to use. 
Um, usually I, I would charge $2,000 to do this, but I'm, I'm shaving off 500 bucks. So if you are interested in having that, it's a one month strategy to help you elevate your presence on social media and get some things happening for your business. So I'll do that for you. Um, two business owners and the first two people that reach out to me, uh, I'll do it for you for 1500 bucks. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in doing, you want to elevate your business, hit me up. Otherwise, um, share this out, like it up. And uh, that's pretty much it. Everybody have a good day and have a great weekend. Peace out.